Hey everyone! Today I'm starting a new series of tips and tricks to help you all with styling your cosplay wigs. So jumping right in, we're going to be covering crimping. Over the last few years, this has become a trick I use on almost all the commissions I've styled to provide extra volume without extra weight. Make sure your wig is heat resistant before attempting this. Most sellers will tell you if it is or isn't, but if you're really not sure, you can test a small patch on the inside or underneath that you'll never see if it does melt off. Proceed at your own risk. So, as you can see here, this wig I've got is relatively flat and it even has a little bit of bag hair going on at the bottom. The final style I'm going for is still technically straight and it's not going to require a lot of spiking, but doing something as simple as adding a tiny bit of texture will improve the final result at least for me personally. Now, when it comes to crimping, I've realized lots of people in the cosplay community have mixed feelings about the look of the final product. For me personally, I aim for minimal visibility since I still want my style to look smooth even if it is spiked to the heavens. So any heavy crimping I do usually stays contained to the roots or the under layer so I can hide it with the top layers. So for this wig, I'm going to be demonstrating just basic overall texturing with minimal visibility on the crimping. To start, I lift the majority of the hair up into the clip, leaving only two to three layers of wefts hanging at the bottom. Make sure the hair is well combed out before you apply heat or you may snag the knots while it's hot and stretch or break the fibers. Next, I use the crimper to travel the length of the hair pretty quickly. The goal here for me is to clamp the crimper all the way shut and then move down the hair without lingering too long so I don't leave super deep indents. So once I reach the end, I take my fine tooth comb and immediately comb the fibers. I'm not sure if this actually helps smooth things out a bit more, but I like to think it does. And more importantly, it guarantees by the time I reach the top, there aren't any knots to work out in the lower layers. So once you crimp all the hair, it should look something like this. In this example, it's subtle, but as you can see from the side by side, it really did make a difference. Now I stuck with very subtle for my example, but if you need tons of volume without extra wefts and weight, you can do really deep crimps and brush it out at the end to get something massive. To smooth it back out, I flat iron all the pieces that are gonna lay on top of my spikes or the mass of hair, while all the volume stays contained on the inside. If you know what pieces are going to remain on the outside of your spikes, you can always section them out and avoid crimping them all together as well. But I personally never know and I feel things out as I go, so I just crimp the whole thing. So that concludes my short rundown of crimping wigs. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And if there's any tutorials you'd like me to cover, let me know as well. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you with your own wig adventures.